Yes. And it's available by reserving your tickets at jazz88.org <laughs> if you're already a valid Jazz 88.3 member. Nathan Hubbard, Tuesday, July 7th at the Seville Theater on the City College campus. Complete details and the parking pass is available at jazz88.org. Membership to Jazz 88.3 is old school cool. It's an experience. Our members enjoy free admission to our monthly jazz live concerts, special Jazz 88.3 swag, and the knowledge that the music you're hearing will stick around because of them. Won't you join us? Call 619-388-3000 or join online at jazz88.org today to get in on the groove. That's 619-388-3000 jazz88.org. You're listening to the New Jazz Thing. My name is Vince Outlaw. San Diego's queen of boogie woogie and host of Jazz 88.3's San Diego session each Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time has a new release out with her Motel Swing Orchestra. It's called Brick Top and she's going to be celebrating it with a Jazz 88.3 happy hour CD release party at the Lafayette Hotel coming up Thursday, July 2nd. We'll be chatting about her new disc, the CD release party, her part in the history of San Diego jazz and more. Sue Palmer joins us tonight on the new jazz thing and kicking it off with music, the title track from Bricktop on the new jazz thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. San Diego's Jazz 88.3 and music from Sue Palmer and her new release Bricktop joining us this evening uh, is the artist herself Sue Palmer joins us tonight uh, Sue thanks for coming on the new jazz thing oh my pleasure so uh, let's make sure that your mic is up and working well uh, I think we're I think we've got it we should know how to work these things uh, both being on the radio here but um, so, Sue, uh, congratulations on the new release. Oh, thank you. So, uh, the name of the disc is Brick Top, and it features your Motel Swing Orchestra. Uh, the uh, disc was dedicated to the Harlem Renaissance, Cafe Society Paris, the birth of jazz in New Orleans, and redheads and swinging mamas everywhere. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, how you put together the, this disc. Well, I was struck by the fact that uh, three of us, and now four of us in the band, had sort of evolved to red hair. <laughs> uh, some of us didn't start that way. And uh, so I started calling us the Brick Top Trio, you know. Uh, and then I uh, remembered that there was a wonderful woman in history about 100 years ago named Brick Top, who was an African-American woman who uh, was in vaudeville, uh, ended up in Chicago, kind of light-skinned with red hair, mm -hmm. so they called her Bricktop. But her real name was Ada Beatrice Queen Victoria Louise Virginia Smith. <laughs> That's a lot of names. And she was quite a character and mm -hmm. a singer, and she ended up going to Har Prohibition Harlem, like her in the 20s, and uh, became a hostess and a singer kind of a cabaret performer, and some gentleman 
decided she was really good at doing that, organizing kind of a hipster club. She knew people like Duke Ellington and stuff. So she, he took her to Paris, and she ended up with her own club over there until the beginning of World War II. And people like the Duke of Windsor and uh, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, all the African Americans that were expatriates over there playing music, uh, would visit her place. And then she had to leave and come back because of World War II, and then she went on to do it again in Mexico City and Rome. Mm -hmm. So she was kind of a hipster well, the, for many years. One of the things that struck me about the, the repertoire on the disc, the, the tunes, it has, um, it, it has a swing and feel, but it actually also uh, feels sophisticated. There's a, <laughs> there's a, kind of a, there's a, a nice mix to, uh, to, the high, to the tunes on the disc. And, um, do you have a? Did you have? Were you going for a certain feel with this uh, release by picking these and these tunes and putting them in this order? I think I was. It struck me that this period of time, Harlem Renaissance in the in the twenties, the late twenties, when all that wonderful uh, Duke Ellington music, like East Saint Louis Toodaloo, which we recorded, and uh, it was all going on at the same time as the. You know, a lot of new, not too long before that, that New Orleans jazz had just been born, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it wasn't that far away from there. And uh, there was all kinds of things happening in Paris. And I just, I guess I'm kind of a Francophile, too. So I love all the connections between New Orleans, Harlem, Paris. Mm -hmm. And my band lends itself to that quite a lot. And I, this last year, I have been playing more 20s music, mm. um, which I've done off and on throughout the years, but I haven't in a long, quite a while, right. and so it was kind of nice to go back to um, more, a little bit older material. And I also have some special guests on the CD, J.P. Belmont from the Euphoria Brass Band on clarinet, and he added that sound mm -hmm. that I was kind of... I just yearned for clarinet. I right. hadn't, hadn't heard it much in my own band anyway. And uh, he also wrote a, you know, a New orleans -y tune that I really like, Beignets and Bourbon, that we recorded on there. Um, so then uh, maybe I want you to run down the members of your Motel Swing Orchestra, give them a few props just uh, so that we can yeah. uh, let folks know who they are. Okay. Um, well, my rhythm section consists of my longtime drummer, Sharon Schufelt, like since the late 70s, and she also is a wonderful backup singer. Pete Harrison, who's my recording engineer and also plays uh, ukulele on, on the uh, album, he's my bass player. Steve Wilcox I've been playing with for quite a number of years. We used to tour with Candy Kane in the 90s also, and he plays guitar and is uh, quite a wonderful live performer. Um, and then my horn section, uh, April West, who I've been playing with since the late 70s also, uh, plays trombone. She plays everything, really, so she's a wonderful musician. And Johnny Views, probably the best uh, sax, blues sax player on the West Coast. Or, you know, he's very well known and records with a lot of different people. Let's see. Oh, and then my singer, uh, Deja Marie, she's right. just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, talking uh, you, the, about the influence of your time that you spent in Paris and touring mm -hmm. uh, Europe with Candy Kane. Mm -hmm. That's a special relationship that you've had with her, uh, working with her quite a bit. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about that. Well, uh, she was introduced to me by her uh, ex-husband Thomas Shearsley, who uh, plays bass in the Paladins, a well-known uh, blues band. Um, and he brought her to me because he thought we would like each other, which I thank him for. And we got along really well and uh, started a partnership that worked fabulously for about 10 years on the road, you know, heavily on the road. I, I, I got tired of touring after that. So um, she's still doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All these years, she's you know, been out there 25 years, and I was only out there 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, uh, let's hear a little bit more music. Uh, I think we've uh, got Down Among the Sheltering Palms queued up. I think this is one of the ones where uh, Pete Harrison plays a little bit of ukulele. As do I. As do you on this and also. Another special guest on here uh, is um, an old uh, music pal of ours, um, Phil Shopoff, mm. who um, used to be in Tobacco Road, a, a band I was in before. I was with Candy, and I knew him from a, a, a popular group called Stone's Throw that were well known for their musical harmonies. He's got a terrific voice. He's also uh, got a really nice sound on trumpet and plays kind of a 20s, 30s kind of sounding trumpet, so that's why I had him on this also. Excellent. Well, let's hear a little bit of this, and uh, then we can talk about uh, the party coming up this week and, uh, and let folks know about what's going on, uh, on with that. Uh, we're chatting with Sue Palmer. Uh, Sue and her Motel Swing Orchestra have a new release out. Uh, it's entitled Brick Top, and we're going to be listening to the tune Down Among the Sheltering Palms. On the new jazz thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. Well, if I queue up the right tune, maybe we'll do that. Uh, hold on one second, folks. This is live radio happening right now, uh, down among the sheltering palms. On the new jazz thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. Oh, oh, really? That's great. Playing sax and ocean sax, too, does that. Through the sax. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> How my love is burning, burning, burning. How my heart is burning. Sharing an April on that. Among the sheltering palms, oh, honey, wait for me. <laughs> That's funny. I thought this song fit really nice on this disc. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to play my ukulele. <laughs> so I create a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> because you can. Yes, exactly. <laughs> more too after you uh, after uh, I was looking at this they are just unbelievable okay here we go San Diego's Jazz 88.3 and down among the sheltering palms from Sue Palmer and her Motel Swing Orchestra our guest this evening on the New Jazz Thing is Sue Palmer. That's from her new release, Brick Top. Welcome back to the New Jazz Thing, Sue. Thank you. So uh, we are releasing the new disc at the Jazz 88 Happy Hour this week. Tell folks a little bit about uh, what you've got planned for the show this Thursday. Well, I have uh, my entire uh, seven-piece band. I'm also adding... Uh, my lead singer, Deej's wonderful daughter, Sharifa, who uh, plays with us sometimes, big, big powerhouse voice. She's going to be a special guest, uh, along with Phil Shopoff, who we just heard, and uh, J.P. Belmont on clarinet. And um, it, I love the Mississippi Room. I love that KSDS is using it right now because it's... It, it's a very iconic for me. My relatives used to go there all the time. I mean, in the 40s, it was a hipster place. Mm -hmm. And it's got that wonderful ba uh, oyster band shell and 
a big dance floor and a lot of good vibes, you know. Excellent. And that's uh, coming up this Thursday, July 2nd, from 5 to 7.30, and you can find out details at jazz88.org. So, so you grew up in San Diego? Yes, I was born at Navy Hospital, and uh, I've been here most of my life. I'm a, a Navy brat, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I don't know why people ever leave. <laughs> but I, you know, stayed here most, you know. Happy that you stayed. Yeah, thank you. And then uh, you're playing, so t did you grow up, was your family musical? Uh, how did you get started playing? My family was very musical. My mother's family, they were from Texas. And when the relatives all got together, we played music. And you were expected to participate, even if you just listened. You know, and that's, there's pictures of the living room. I mean, you had to clap or listen or something. Mm -hmm. My grandfather played, like, turkey in the straw violin. And his children were all swing musicians. My aunt played sax, and when it had been, she was the most professional. Uh, my mother's brother at one time played trumpet, and they all played piano. My grandmother taught them all how to play, and my aunt that lived with me till I was about fifteen, she was a real good piano player. And I, the first time I heard boogie woogie was in Ocean Beach at the Baptist Church down the street. That I went off with the neighbor girl to. Uh, just to have something to do. <laughs> and I heard someone playing that style, and that got me hooked on that. So that was when I was about 10. And then did you uh, form a band? Uh, one of the kind of iconic bands in San Diego uh, was Tobacco Road, and that was a precursor to your Motel Swing Orchestra uh, mm -hmm. band. Um, when did, uh, tell us how Tobacco Road uh, founded, and when was that? Uh Let's see, Tobacco Row got started around 1982 or 83 or so. Um, I had been involved in a rock band called Misbehaven in the late 70s. And I learned a lot because I had, you know, been so immersed in learning about jazz and blues and stuff like that that I sort of didn't know a lot of 80s music, you know, and or even 70s rock and stuff so it was I learned a lot of stuff from my friends but I realized this wasn't really the kind of music I wanted to play so some of the people in that band mainly April West and Sharon Schufelt uh, went with me to Tobacco Road and um, a friend of mine named Eric Hybertson who plays sax and clarinet he and I pretty much started Tobacco Road and we needed a bass player so we called Preston Coleman who I thought it was perfect for us, so I, I always go to the perfect mm -hmm. choice because they can always say no. Right, start at the top, yeah. <laughs> then work your way And down. he, we played the four of, uh, well, let's see, they, it eventually became a sextet with Phil Shopoff, April and Eric Hyberson on the horns and piano bass drums. And so that was he was a great everybody in the band except Sharon and I were major arrangers and could write out all the parts and everything so he had tons of wonderful arrangement Preston was he had been a big star in in the 40s in Chicago and New York and he played in the house band at the Apollo Theater uh, Cats and the Fiddle one of the house bands mm -hmm. anyway and uh, had been pretty major he played with Mary Lou Williams for a while. Wow. And, you know, he'd been quite well known. And then he got a gig out here with Walter Fuller, who's a band leader out here. Uh, and so he came to San Diego. And then right after he came, he got a call from Billie Holiday, he told me. But, you know, it was a long way to go all the way back to New York. So he stayed. He said no and stayed here. And mm -hmm. uh, then the rest was history with you and the yeah. band. Yeah, <laughs> he got Sue Palmer and stayed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lucky he was. Yeah. So then uh, your current band, the Motel Swing Orchestra, mm -hmm. which is recorded at Bricktop, uh, when, did, uh, when did they come together? Well, I had uh, uh, left Candy's band in 1999 and um, started, I needed to reintroduce myself to San Diego and, and myself. So I uh, made a CD and started playing with 
various people, you know, kind of, and eventually it, it became uh, obvious that who I wanted to play with and what sounded, you know, what gelled. So, not too long after I left Candy's Band in 2000. Right. So We've been together for a while. You've been together for a while, yeah. yeah. I was looking at the at your album list out on your website, and there's a lot of Motel Swing Orchestra mm -hmm. uh, recordings. And uh, and that's uh, there's a lot to be said uh, for that to uh, be playing together that long and uh, yeah and, it's and it's uh, we can play, try out new things real easily you know and just a lot of times we're just flying by the sea of our pants but hey that's sometimes where the best music's made yeah um so then how often does the band get together or do you guys uh, practice regularly or do, is it mostly just uh, coming together for shows and uh, and gigs like that. Mostly, we, we rehearse uh, like once or twice a month, mm -hmm. not not maybe once a month. Right, right, right. Maybe a little bit more than we used to, actually, because um, we don't seem to work. I mean, people aren't working five nights a week like we used to, so. A little more time to, to get together and, and do this? Mm -hmm. right, okay. So um, we've got uh, the Jazz 88 Happy Hour coming up this week. Uh, on Thursday with a CD release party. Uh, people are going to be able to buy the new disc? Yes. Uh, and Because that's really the official release date, right? The mm -hmm. 2nd of, uh, of July. So that's fantastic. So people will be able to do that. Tell us a little bit then, Sue, um, about what you've got going on uh, past this. Are you uh, planning on uh, touring behind this at all? Or uh, is that in the cards? Or is it, uh, you know, do you have other projects that you're working on? Yes, to all those questions. Excellent, um, good. I, I my tour is more in my a figment of my imagination, which I've been putting all on Facebook uh, in my imaginary airstream, thanks to my friend Janet Dealey, my artist friend. Um, we do we go we do tour a little bit, not a lot. I really, I just like to do you know flyings mostly these days, uh, but. We are. Uh, we do have jazz festivals that we do, like um, Pismo Beach. We're doing that, and nothing too far out of the country or anything. Um, I have another recording project uh, in August that I'm doing. At uh, it's a live recording. That'll be another project. And is that just you playing piano? No, it's um, it's a live recording of the band at Thomas Yearsley's Thunderbird Analog Studio, and. It will be open to the public, you know. Oh, it, it, it's kind of an exper experience, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. People can watch it as it happens and, and be part of be the videoed. Be They'll part be of part the recording, of uh, the yeah. recording process, and on uh, right. video too. Yeah, oh, excellent. And uh, we have a lot of fun concerts, um, La Jolla concerts by the sea, or over at the Cove, Trolley Barn Park. That's always fun, and. Um, the Blues Festival. We're going to be in the Blues Festival in September. Well, where can folks find out more about you and the band and kind of keep up on things? You uh, mentioned Facebook, but uh, website? Yeah, suepalmer.com. I have more information there than you can possibly want to know. <laughs> but you can see where I'm playing and my regular schedule. You can get on my email list. And you can call me. My phone number is on the <laughs> website. Excellent. Well, uh, Sue, we've got one more tune to play, and uh, we were going to play I Love Paris. Uh, thoughts about the tune, uh, how you guys did it, or, or anything? Uh, I We have been doing this, it just kind of uh, came together as a group, you know, over time, and so I like it because it's the representative of our sound. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ does a wonderful job singing it. I love the song. It goes with my theme really well because Cole Porter was a friend of Brick Tops and, you know, uh -huh. he probably debuted that song at her place, you know. Uh, anyway, I just think it's really moody. I got to play a little bit of my accordion on it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Sue, uh, it's always a pleasure to uh, chat with you and it's an honor to have you on the show. Uh, congratulations again on the new release and looking forward to a big CD release party this Thursday at the Lafayette uh, Hotel on El Cajon Boulevard. It's at 5 o'clock this Thursday, July 2nd, uh, as the uh, Jazz 88 happy hour turns into the Bricktop CD release party. You can find out more information 
at jazz88.org. Again, thanks for uh, hanging Thank out you, with man. us uh, tonight. It. This is I Love Paris from Bricktop and Sue Palmer and her Motel Swing Orchestra on the new jazz thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3. Okay. Well, that was 